Hello, welcome to my introduction to Photoshop class. In this lesson, I'm going to start by teaching you how to import and manage image files. Uh, this is one of the most important things you can do when you're working with Photoshop and you have a lot of pictures that you want to manage. Uh, I'm going to start with by you. I'm going to start by using a flash card from a the memory card from a um, from a camera. I'm going to plug it into my card reader and it's going to see the images on this file on this on this um, on the flashcard and you'll notice that I have this option because I have uh, Adobe CC the Creative Cloud on my computer I actually have a couple of different versions of it it says hey, what do you want to download the images with do you want to use Adobe Bridge or my old version of Adobe Bridge or Lightroom um, some of you will like to use Lightroom. I'm used to using Adobe Bridge, so this is what I'm going to use to manage my files. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to download the images using Adobe Bridge. I notice it um, comes up with all these pictures. Um, so I don't, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do, oh, by the way, sometimes when you first, the first time you do this, you get this standard dialog box. And to see the dialog box that I'm going to use, you need to click on Advanced right there. Now, I have these pictures, and I don't want to download these pictures. I want to download these pictures that I took at a baseball game that was a couple of days before this. So I'm going to go down to the baseball game. And notice, here's some kids playing baseball. That's the first picture in that series of um, images. And I'm going to download that. And let's see, those. what day were those taken on? 6-5-2014, notice that it has in the, in the metadata right there. And I'm going to just go down here till I find the last picture from 6-5. All right, I'm down here to this. I'm going to hold down the shift key and click. And then I'm going to click, and notice it selected all the images all the way up to the top for, from the first one I selected. I clicked on the first one, and I'm shift clicking on the last one. And that selects the first picture and everything in between to this last one. And then I'm not going to do these graduation pictures. So now it says um, 330 images selected. And I am now going to put them on uh, my hard drive. So I'm going to click Browse. And notice I put them right on the C level of my disk. I have this folder that I called Pictures 1314 for the year 1314. And I'm going to create a new folder. And I'm going to call this uh, Yankees because my son's on the Yankees. And this is from 6, uh, 5, 14. So I'm just going to create a folder that has the date there. I don't like to put spaces in my folder names. So uh, it's just habits from old, from the way files are done from old times. So I'm going to select that folder now, and it's going to put everything in that folder. Now in my pictures, if I, if I go back here to my pictures 13, 14 folder, I have all these events that I've done. And I could go subdivide those into other things, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to put Yankees 6514. I'm going to select that folder. And I'm not going to do any custom naming. I'm just going to use the name of the files that are on it. I don't want to delete the original files because I actually want to put this on a home computer, not a work computer, And because I'm going to do this later. And I'm going to get the media. And while it downloads, I'm just going to, I'm going to pause the video while it downloads. All right, the, um, the download is complete, and we can go into Bridge to uh, look at the download. And if you remember, I named it Yankees6514, and there's the folder. And if I double-click on that, it's going to show all the images that uh, it downloaded from there. But you'll see that it shows all these pictures. And let's, uh, let's just scroll through for a minute to find a good one. But at any rate, uh, this is... This program that we use to manage and, and preview the files is called Adobe Bridge. It bridges the gap between um, all the different programs. So if I have uh, Photoshop files, it can see and preview all of those. If I have Illustrator or, or um, uh, Adobe Reader or, or the video programs that it uses, that Adobe has any any pro any file that Adobe um, creates, it can 
preview in bridge. So bridge is oh, the gap between all those, or it acts as a bridge between all those things. In bridge, we can make some, we can look at the pictures in a couple of different ways. We can look at it in this essentials tab, and that's how we can look at um, any of these pictures. We can also look at any of the metadata that goes with it. Notice how it tells the, it was landscape, the orientation was landscape. Um, of all these pictures in this folder, there are 304 landscape and 16 portrait. Aspect ratio, two to three, color profile. We can look at all these things, which some of which would not mean much to you right now. Um, but it does say the exposure time, one eight hundredth of a second for most of the pictures. And aperture value, um, that just shows you all these different, in this in this folder, all the different um, values that I have for each one. Just some data for this folder. Um, now, I can look at it as essentials, which just shows all these previews. And I can make the pictures bigger or smaller as I toggle through. I can just toggle through using the arrow keys. Um, or I can look at a film strip. And it shows a little preview down here, and then it shows the picture up here. So I can just cruise through all these pictures. Um, now, one of these tabs along here is the Output tab. Um, in the Output tab, when, when I get to it, I, I can choose a bunch of pictures. Say I just want to, I'm just going to grab these. Sorry. I'm just going to grab this picture to here. So I'm going to click on that first one, and then I'm going to Shift-click on this one. And it selects those, you know, six pictures or so. And I'm going to create a new collection, is what it's called. And I'm just going to call it test. And it puts those pictures in the collection. Now that's, it's not actually putting them in a folder. It's just has some files that reference the pictures that are in the folder that I created earlier for all those 300 and whatever pictures. Now, using these pictures, I can go over here to output the output module, and I can create a web gallery or a PDF, kind of a contact sheet. So say I want to have um, a five by eight contact sheet. I can click on that, and then I can tell it to make a preview of that contact sheet. And that's what that looks like. Say I think, oh, that's too many. Why don't I do two by two cells and then, ref and then refresh the preview? And it'll make a contact sheet um, that'll be two pages long with those six pictures. I can also create a web gallery and that would be uh, a way to create something that I could upload to a web page. Say if I uh, if I maintained a web page, which I do, I could put my um, the pictures in there. And then you can change all this data that goes along with it, put your name, put contact information for when you create a, uh, a web page. And I'm not going to get into the details right now, but you just need to know for now that in Bridge, you can manage your files, you can preview the files, you can create PDF um, contact sheets, or you can create a web gallery out of the pictures you've created. You can also create these virtual folders that are collections, which refer back to the full um, files, the files that you have. But they're just kind of like creating a database. It's a, it's a way to create a database of your, of your pictures. For example, I have all these um, portraits that I've done, and I chose for this portraits gallery or this portraits collection some of my favorite pictures that I've taken over the last several years of different people. And uh, but these refer all these. This is just a debate database of pictures that I have in files all over the place on my on my um, on my hard drive for the last uh, like three or four years. And that's all I'm going to show you right now in in this part where we're importing man and managing the images. And I'm going to end right here for today.